Hey everyone, Happy New Year. It's Scott Neal from Scott Neal Real Estate, your local DFW real estate expert. And today I wanna just give you a little bit of a market update. This is our quarterly market review, but in particular, I wanna let you know how the market did in 2019 and give you some of my predictions for 2020 and beyond. Um, 2020 is gonna be an interesting year, that's for sure. We are coming up on an election and uh, this is a very important and controversial election as everyone I'm sure knows and uh, we don't really know how that's going to impact it but what I can tell you is that every time we go through a big presidential election the market always gets a little bit of reverberation so let me just start by going through some of the stats that we ended the year with in 2019 and I'll give you some of my predictions for what I think is going to happen in 2020 and beyond let's go ahead and start with median price, which is the number one stat that most people are really concerned about. And right now, as of the end of December 2019, the median price for homes in the DFW area is $265,000. Uh, so again, the median is right in the middle. So 50% of all residential sales that happened were over 265, half of them were under 265. So 265, the median really represents the exact middle of the market, and it's a good barometer for uh, housing affordability in the DFW area. So $265,000 is about your median sale price, and that's up almost 4% um, from this time last year. So. Uh, home prices rose again 3.7%. Um, that's really good, but it is way down from what we've been seeing in price appreciation over the last several years. Um, if you've been watching these on a quarterly basis, you'll know that for a long time, for several years, the median price was rising by 10 to 11%. Um, every single year and that's really slowed down as the market is starting to level out. How about closed sales? Um, so this was actually surprising to me because uh, last year we saw a little bit of a dip in sales. Not exactly sure what was happening there. I'd have to probably go back and diagnose exactly what was going on. But we closed out the year with the most sales so far um, as far as I can go back for stats, um, we have the most sales in DFW, and that's at 116,309 sales. Um, and that's just the homes that were sold. So by the time you include the buyers plus off-market inventory that wasn't input into the MLS, you know, we're probably looking at somewhere around 300,000 closed transaction size just in the residential sector in DFW. And that's up about 2.7% from this time last year. And that was kind of surprising to me because I thought that our sales would be down right now. Um, how about days on market? So this is how long does it take for a home to go under contract once it goes on the market? And that's about 51 days. So if you're a seller out there and you're thinking that you're going to put your home on the market and have it be sold by the end of the first weekend, uh, that's not normal. It can certainly happen if you have the right strategy, if you have the right pricing strategy and marketing behind your property. Um, but don't just expect that your home's gonna go up for sale, have multiple offers by the end of the first weekend because on average, it takes home sellers 51 days from the time that they put their home up for sale until the time that they ratify a contract. And then there's probably another 30 days before it finally sells. Um, but it's definitely taking longer and longer for homes to go under contract right now. 51 days represents a 13% increase from this time last year. So um, we're continuing to see that trend go up which is it's taking longer and longer for homes to sell and then this leads me to the last statistic that I love to talk about because it really is the number one economic indicator that I look at as a real estate professional to let me know what's going on with the market and so that I can project out into the future um, what I think is going to happen and our inventory is on the rise 
Um, it's not shooting through the roof, but it is slowly starting to inch up. And as inventory starts to rise, this seller's market is going to get a little bit more quieter. Deals for buyers are going to be a little bit more plentiful. Um, we're gonna see sellers struggle a little bit harder to get their properties sold. And the amount of people that just fail to sell is going to increase as well. So as the inventory rate rises, all of those negative pressures are going to start applying to the market, which means that price appreciation is going to slow down, days on market is going to start going up, and the amount of properties that get sold year over year are going to start lagging as well. What is inventory? This is basically how many homes are for sale versus how many homes are being sold on a monthly basis. So right now we have 3.3 months worth of inventory in our market. And during the months or during those years when um, the median price was really shooting through the roof, we were seeing under three months worth of inventory. So right now, 3.3 months worth of inventory represents a 10% rise in inventory from this time last year. So if you're watching your assets, your real estate assets in, in particular, and you wanna kinda know what's going on in the market, the number one thing that you can really pay attention to is what is happening with the level of inventory. As you see the level of inventory go up, you will start to see negative pressure on home appreciation. All right, so that 2019, we had another gangbuster year in real estate, even though we're starting to see the market start to lag a little bit and things kind of go back to a normal equilibrium style. Um, we're not seeing, the, the real estate boom is over, guys. Um, it's, you're not going to buy a home this year and see that home double in price over the next 10 years. I just really don't see that happening. Um, now, I also don't think that if you buy a home this year, it's going to be worth less next year or in two years or in five years. I think that what's going to happen is that we're just going to go back to normal appreciation levels. So let's talk about what are some things that I can predict in, in 2020. Um, I think that as we get into the spring and into the summer, we're going to see another uptick in home sales. Um, and as long as interest rates stay low, that's going to continue to spur buyers on to purchase homes. In fact, over the holidays this year, we had lots of clients come to us and say, hey, we're ready to buy a home. And um, they're, they've either already bought or they're under contract right now to, to buy their next home. And um, as the spring and the summer months come around, I think we're gonna continue to see uh, a lot of spurring on in the market. But as we get towards the end of the summer, and particularly as we get closer to the election, I think that um, here from a sales perspective, we're going to start hearing a lot more objections to getting into the market regarding the election. It happens every time. People kind of want to wait and see what's going to happen with the election. Is Trump gonna get reelected? Is some other person going to get elected? How is that gonna impact the stock market? How is that gonna in impact my taxes? Um, so, you know, these are legitimate concerns and there's not really anything that we can do about that. Um, so we're just gonna have to watch and see what happens. Inventory is going to continue to rise. As the market starts to wane a little bit, um, people are going to continue to want to sell, but as buyer demand decreases a little bit and sellers are a little overconfident with their pricing rel uh, relevant to um, what's going on in the market and what you can get with your competition, you're going to start to see that inventory level rise you're gonna see sellers take a little bit longer to get their properties sold. And so we're seeing a big change in the market right now. Um, now, again, we're not heading for any crash. The market's just slowing down right now. So if you're still thinking about selling a home, your home's value is as high as it has ever been. Take advantage. If you've been wanting to make a move, this is a great time to sell. If you're thinking about buying, because the market is starting to soften a little bit, you can really pick up some really good deals. Um, so as a buyer, you're more likely to get 
price off of the, of the listing price, you're more likely to get closing costs paid for as well. So the market is doing really well. It's a very safe investment um, over the long run to buy real estate. In fact, over the last 50 years, real estate has outperformed almost every other investment that you can think of. The S&P, gold, real estate has outperformed all of those. So if you're thinking about buying or selling in 2020, or if you just have questions about how this real estate market is going to affect plans that you have this year or next year, give us a call at our office. We'd love to talk with you. Talk to one of our full-time professional real estate agents. Uh, we don't have anybody working here at our company that is a part-time agent. Everybody here, this is their full-time job and career. We live, eat, and breathe real estate, and we'd love to talk with you about it. So again, give us a call here at our office. Message us on Facebook. Send us an email. Send us a text. There's so many different ways that you can get in touch with us. We hope that you're having a great and prosperous new year, and we hope that you have a great and prosperous 2020 and beyond. So if you've got real estate questions, give us a call. Scott Neal Real Estate, thank you and happy selling.